In a previous episode, we did a root pass on two inch schedule 80. It's like practicing for API 1104 procedures. We ran downhill. So now we've cleaned this all up. We want to run this downhill with a quick hot pass. If we need to, we'll run a fill pass and we'll do a cap. The reason I say that is because again, we're on schedule 80. I want to run enough in here that I get a good hot pass, but I may still be a little bit low and I can't go to cap yet. I want to get this up to about flush with the pipe. And that way when I put my cap in here, we'll get some reinforcement on the top side. I'm going to run the same amperage that I run my root at. And the reason I want to do that is I don't want to, I don't want to run it so hot that I might bust through this root because I've ground this and thinned it out. So I'm going to run the same 80 amps that I ran on the, on the root with eighth inch 6010. Okay, first thing we need to do, we need eighth inch 6010. So what's gonna happen here is, I'm gonna strike the arc up here on top. I'm always referencing the center of the pipe. I, I mention that all the time and it's just a good habit to get into, but I need to have some angle here. The technique that I'm gonna use is a slight stitch. I'm gonna drag this down, deposit some metal. I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit, long arc it, I should say. And when I do that, the voltage comes up, the amperage decreases, but it makes the pool lay flat and I'm forcing the slag above my weld pool. Well, that went fairly quick. So now I need to go clean my start and my stop. And we'll, I'm gonna go ahead and to face this out here so we don't have to readjust cameras. Okay, I've done both sides. I'm gonna buff this off. I've got a restart up here on top that I just wanna feather it back and make it the same depth and everything. It looks like I do need to run a fill and bring this up to flush. I don't think I could go to cap right now. I'd be fighting too much metal. Again, small bore pipe. I just wanna clean this top out, clean this surface. We're gonna run a quick fill. Okay, if uh, camera guy zoomed in here, you can kind of tell that I got some filling to do here. So we're gonna we're gonna stay at the same amperage. I'm gonna use uh, I'm, here, I'm still running eighth inch 6010, and we're gonna do a quick fill pass in here and try to bring this up to flush. Let it cool off, clean it up, and everything. And we're gonna go to cap. My fill pass technique, uh, just real small circles. Again. You know, reference in the center of the pipe so I can get that lead angle, force the slag up here on top, but I'm just gonna do real small circles on the way down as I'm doing this transition. So the purpose of the, fl the flush pass that we call it, or another fill pass, is to bring this up as close to or right at flush so that when I put my cap in here, we get a little reinforcement. So <clears throat> I'm ready to do this. My technique again on the cap is just small circles to watch the top side and watch the edges and make sure I'm not undercutting it and that I'm getting some reinforcement on top. Okay, folks, I hope that uh, gave you a little insight on, on the technique and the rod angles and kind of the travel speeds and everything. The end result on the cap on, the, on these API 1104 runs is pretty much like anything else. You want to have edges broken down on your root, your fill passes, your hot, your hot pass and your fill pass. Your cap, you want to have some reinforcement. And by say reinforcement, you want to be weld metal above the pipe, uh, no more than an eighth and you want it fairly consistent running down. Mine's not great. I, I, need to, I need to practice a little bit here. So we're gonna do more of these pipe runs, so hopefully I get better, but technique and travel speed and rod angles are all the same. The rest of it is practice, practice. Thanks for watching and subscribing to weld.com. Hit the notification button and please check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.